Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. We're going to go up to Providence for a quick hitter edition. Rest in peace, uh, little Eddie Lado, longtime New England mafia figure, Providence capo, and as of the last couple of years, underboss of the entire patriarchal crime family, passed away this weekend, um, 77 years old, been battling cancer for the last year or two um you know this is a this is a real blow to the to the new england guys because eddie lado was you know as jerry capacey likes to say he was a dyed in wool gangster uh 40 arrests 20 convictions you know spent a big chunk of his life in prison kept his mouth shut rose all the way to underboss the guy that got his button uh, in the early 80s, became a capo in the 90s, dies a suspect in the September 1992 gangland slain of mob enforcer Kevin Hanrahan. You guys uh, go to the um, Patreon, members only Patreon this week, and we're going to have a um, a real deep dive breakdown of the Kevin, Han- the Kevin Hanrahan hit. We'll get into all the particulars of that. Um, but according to grand jury testimony, um, in the last five years, Eddie Lado was a trigger man on the Hanrahan hit. Hanrahan was a legendary collector, hit man. Obviously, he wasn't Italian. He was Irish. Uh, and was caught trying to carry out a coup, uh, basically for uh, incarcerated Don Raymond Patriarca Jr. And uh, Cadillac Frank and Baby Shacks Minocchio, Bobby DeLuca. Eddie Lado and Rocco Argenti uh, conspired to kill Hanrahan on Federal Hill uh, late evening, September 18th, 1992. And uh, talking about Baby Shacks, in the last couple of weeks, I reported uh, on Gangster Report, and I will talk about it for a second here, that the patriarchal crime family, with the knowledge that Eddie Lado and Baby Shacks um, were on their last legs, that both of them probably wouldn't make it through the new year. Um, they held a a goodbye ceremony, a, a for lack of a better term, a living wake, where anybody that wanted to come and pay their final respects could. It was I, it was held in a restaurant in North Providence, and uh, it looks like they were right to do that. Uh, you know, timeline wise, because Eddie Lado lasted like three weeks uh, after that event. Baby Shacks is still alive, 97 years old. I'm told that he's battling cancer as well. But uh, him and Bobby DeLuca, the last remaining suspects in the Hanrahan hit, DeLuca flipped twice and uh, actually solved the case, went from the grand jury, told them what happened. Baby Shacks is, you know, he's not going to take a pinch for this, just like Eddie Lado wasn't going to take a pinch for it. Feds decided that DeLuca wasn't a... Um, credible enough witness to base the whole case on. So again, check the Patreon and, and I'll, I'll lay out all the details and circumstances surrounding that murder. But uh, Eddie Lado, um, you know, this is a guy that was low key, fearless, um, a guy that had a presence about him despite being you know, relatively tiny in stature and uh, a guy that loved the life and you know did eight years between 2011 and 2019 it's been out for about five years had a heart attack in his first couple months out uh then got his health back got the promotion under boss and then unfortunately got the uh the cancer diagnosis that that took him out so um it there's a lot of sorrow right now in new england whether you're talking providence or boston or connecticut uh everybody seemed to um respect and like little Eddie Lado, and just a guy that is embedded and in, in inextricable with, with Providence Mafia culture over the last half century. It goes all the way back to Rudy the Skipper, who was uh, Baby Shack's, uh, you know, kind of main enforcer. Eddie came up under him. And uh, so, end of an era in Providence. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod, we're out.